How much would you give rappers at a time? I mean, I mean, CERN was asking for a lot of money. You know, some of them were getting 50000 some of them were getting 25000 There's different rappers coming to get different monies. You know, it was f***ed up back then. There wasn't no such thing as PPP, and there wasn't no such thing as, you know, all this streaming money that's going on, and YouTube checks probably were coming, but we definitely didn't know how to get it. We just not learning the game. You smell me? Yeah, it, yeah. it wasn't no Apple and Spotify. Pandora. This was around, that. yeah, was, this was around like live mixtapes and shit. My mixtape, that pill, Spinnerella, we had to pay them. <laughs> <laughs> you had to pay them to get the top slot. I remember that time. So this, so it was, so word was getting around town that yo, you could go to Rallo to fund you to help make shit look good. Maybe a few dollars, maybe some jewelry, and you would, you didn't mind helping people out. I mean, it just don't, bro. You gotta understand this. Uh, I was making so much goddamn money to the point where that shit was like just crazy. Like you gotta think about it. I might go in the club. And, you know, a nigga might be not calling me. He like, all right, I'm coming down the road. Now I got your money. He might owe me 50000 100000 Whatever it depends on how much I would give him. And I was like, just meet me in the club. He might meet me in the club with his 50000 But you got to think about it. I already still got his pack at the house. I can just get him that. So I go in the club and I can throw all this shit. You get what I'm saying? Because I still got that pack. I still got my people that's ready to review. I, I got loads of this shit, so it really didn't matter. You smell me? Although, you know, I was real, you know, particular with my money, like, because I really value relationships. You smell me? So it wasn't there for me to give this rapper 50000 or 5000 or 20000 or 100 because these are the people that I was setting up on my chessboard for all of us to win. You smell me? Win together. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no goddamn one to call me a rat. These scared to goddamn come around and oh I ain't gonna oh this say that this he say she say shit I don't give a f who said something come to me and let me show you you smell me and you know some shit just ain't for the internet but sometimes I get mad and I just post it mm. so you feel like some of the guys that you helped out in the beginning stages they didn't keep it real with you later on bro this shit is crazy like uh, I'd have never thought some of these be on the type of time they be on. You smell me like these so much of cowards. These niggas don't know how to be their own man. These niggas care about what another motherfucker say about them. They ain't their own man. So if they say, oh, this person don't fuck with Rallo, oh, I ain't gonna fuck with them. You ain't your own man. You smell me? I, I'm, I'm telling Boots to come see the paperwork. I'm publicly slam. And one of you niggas that think I did some lame shit like that. Come on over here and let me show you. I'm saying it in a general statement. I'm giving everybody an invitation. Like, hey, you see Boosie won't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. And then another nigga, oh, he shout to say this, shout to say that. I don't give a fuck about he say, she say. The black and white ain't going to lie. You smell me? And you know, when, 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 when I get like that, that shit almost fuck with my brain and make me like fuck with my mental to the point where I be like, man, fuck everybody. It's up. I don't care about what the fuck. Nigga say, nigga gonna say, right up to internet. So you ain't my motherfucking friend. So what it, what it matter? Maybe if you was my friend, I'd probably listen to you. But you want to support me in private and talk to me in private and you don't want to support me publicly? You. So you feel like, not even just, well, Boosie, uh, that time when the, I guess the, the phone call leaked or whatever, he went on Vlad saying what he said. You feel like that kind of hurt your reputation just a little bit. It hurt me where, where, it, to where it, certain rappers don't want to stand next to you. It hurt me, my feelings, to the highest, to the highest, to, to the core. You smell me? I personally feel like, you know, in this life, that's the worst shit you can be called. You smell me? So I be on some shit like, oh, you called me that? Now, when I say I'm internet nigga, that shit don't bother me. I got called a rat, so I'm mad. I don't give a fuck. Like, y'all already called me the worst shit in the world. So now I be mad. If, so when 
when when I be telling them to go back and listen to the phone call, cause maybe y'all ain't understand. I said it bluntly. I made it just for them to make it seem like I knew these people. So if I made it seem like I knew these people, then obviously I was making some shit up. But you take this one part, I made it juicy for them, and now you make this shit like, oh, he said he made it. Nigga, the whole phone call I'm telling you, 400,000, 400,000, I'm sorry, bro. You ain't know I was trying to pay a nigga for this shit ain't work. And now we're talking about seven years later now. It's seven, eight years later, and we haven't found out one person that's locked up for our love. I even heard a nigga say some shit like, oh, yeah, he gave people up, but when they said he had to testify, he he didn't want to move forward. Put sad nigga, that ain't how the feds work. First of all, 98% of federal cases don't go to trial, period. And second of all, I had Brian Steele, Doug Samuel, and Drew Finland. I had the top three lawyers of the time right now you think for one second if a nigga would have got arrested for rilo they want to let me go home what if i if nigga would have been arrested for rilo brian Steele, drew finn and don Sanger would have made sure i walked out that door so what i'm saying here is hey yeah like some it's so much bullshit going on let me tell you this prayer let me tell you prayer let me tell you prayer oh he let a nigga on his phone I you back then we were using flip phones. It ain't enough for me to go to the store and get a flip phone for fifteen dollars and pay a thirty dollar card. You think for one second me making five ten million dollars that I'm finna let the feds get a phone with some damn crime in it? What the f you, you, is you stupid? I ain't make five ten million dollars being an idiot. So for a motherfucker even think these motherfuckers even think it's great because they don't even know how the feds roll the feds don't even do shit like that i forgot what the audio said i think the audio was something like you pretended you told on some you it was some i, I don't know what would give us a rollback on the audio again that that came so, out while you were in the feds. The brother called the brother called me first of all i'm on the cell phone everybody keeps saying this is a jailhouse call it was never a jailhouse call y'all just perceiving it as a jailhouse call because this nigga had on like a wire or something because i'm making sure he ain't recording me because i'm on queen phone you smell me so queen so he couldn't ever been recording me like in per and like like out in in public he had a motherfucking little thing on and he would record he put me on speakerphone and i was talking to the nigga so he telling me because at first we was gonna pay an officer because the the the, the, the mother the prosecutor wrote like hey hey rollo i mean the prosecutor wrote Brian Steele and like if I give up the officer who brought me the cell phone in, they'll give me a reduction on my sentence. So I'm like, shit, let me call the officer. So I get me a cell phone, I call the officer. I'm like, look, I'm gonna give you two hundred fifty thousand dollars for you to go on this motherfucker and tell these people you brought me their phone. Cause I know if you get some paperwork on me saying I told on you, you gonna tell the world I told on you. So I called John Doe. I made sure John Doe went to the mother officer. And tried to pay the officer two hundred fifty thousand. The officer said, "Hell nah, Rollo. I ain't finna take no motherfucking charge." So right off back, if we go back to the big facts interview of me in jail, I'm telling the world like, I can get out now if this nigga come forward. If you go back to the big facts interview, just look. I kept saying, "I can get out right now." And shout to come forward. And shout. I'm telling the officer. I'm like, I'm trying to throw shots at the officer. Like, come on, get these two hundred fifty thousand and help me get on up out this motherfucker. So I'm telling John Doe, I'm like, bro, that's the same move we were finna do together for two fifty, except these folks charging four hundred thousand to get caught with a load. You smell me? If you get if 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 this nigga if you if this nigga saying that if 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 you saying you getting this load from this nigga and you get him four hundred thousand, he turn himself in and he gone, you automatically finna get a reduction off your sentence. You smell me? So I'm telling this douchebag ass nigga that, and guess what? He tried to edit the car. I'm like, yeah, you did what you did. Oh, nigga, I told you what I did, and it was nothing more than that. That what it was, and that what it is. And when I say I made it juicy, get what a nigga saying. He tried. Everybody, everybody ain't listening to that portion of the conversation. Everybody like, okay, he made a juicy for them people. So that was what went on.